Hello there Windows users and welcome to the next video in the Windows 7 learning series. My name is Brad Murphy with Ignite Network Solutions and this is going to be a quick video detailing file management in Windows 7. So starting with uh, Windows Vista and really maturing in Windows 7, Microsoft took a different approach on how it separates and stores all documents or items downloaded onto the computer. In previous versions of Windows, such as Windows XP, Microsoft had a My Documents folder that pretty much anything and everything was stored in. But in Windows 7, they took a different approach where all of your documents and music and pictures and, and videos are stored under a subdirectory for the user account. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at this. So click on the Start button for me and click on your account name. Most likely this is your name or whatever name you gave the account. And under this, we're gonna see a group of folders such as contacts, desktop, documents, downloads, favorites, things along those lines. So here's where we could tell where Microsoft really split things out into their own subfolders. So previous versions of Windows you had a My Documents folder and all these other folders would be stored inside of here. But documents are supposed to be what they represent which is like Word, Excel, files, PowerPoints, and any things along those lines that are actual documents. Um, now instead of having your music and your pictures in the My Documents folder we see them listed out here as their own individual folders. So if you're coming from Windows XP and transferring into the Windows 7 world and transferring your documents, your My Documents folder over, you're probably going to get a message that says Microsoft has moved the My Music folder or My Pictures folder and will relocate your files. And if you do get that, basically it's saying that instead of keeping your music in the My Documents folder during the transfer, it's going to move them into their own My Music or My Picture folders. So one of the things that we may want to do is quickly access these individual folders such as your downloads folder or your my documents folder from the desktop and the best way of doing that is by creating shortcuts creating a shortcut on your desktop for a certain folder is a simple process so what we're gonna do is look at the downloads folder right here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this folder and I'm gonna select send to desktop create shortcut. Once I select that, we'll notice over here on the left hand side that it's you know downloads shortcut. So if I were to double click on that it would basically take me to the downloads folder that's un under my user directory. And if you don't like the shortcut name being in here we could right click on it and go um, edit oh, I'm sorry rename and then rename it to whatever you'd like. And we'll do the same thing with my documents. Right click on that, send to, desktop create shortcut. And you could just click on that and rename it. And that's the basics of shortcuts and file management in Windows 7. If you have any questions about this, hit me up in the comments or send an email to info at ignitens.com. Thank you. Have a great day.